Hi there, January and February seems like an eternity, but it's finally March. You have made it and hopefully your plans did too. With the days getting longer and sunnier again, I'm starting to get the tickles. I can smell the growing season, but before we wash, let's see how to prepare our plants for spring and summer. My name is Lisa and in today's video I will guide you through 7 tips and tricks to prepare your beloved houseplants for the upcoming season. Of course, I will link all the tools in the descriptions below. Are you getting ready for spring with me? Let's get into it. As the weather warms up and the days get longer, it's time to start thinking about preparing your houseplants for spring. With a few simple steps, you can help your plants transition smoothly in the new season and promote healthy growth. Tip 1. Clean those leaves. During the winter months, dust and dirt can acclimate on the leaves of your houseplants, clogging their pores and reducing their ability to photosynthesize. To get them off to a get start in spring, I'd advise you to wipe those leaves. You will need a soft cloth or a new glove. Some water and milk eco-friendly soap. Mix a few drops of the liquid soap with water in a spray bottle and gently spray it on the leaves. Be very careful not to saturate them completely. Use the soft cloth or glove to wipe each leaf and remove those layers of dust. After cleaning them, it's time to rinse the leaf. Spray the leaves with clean water or gently wipe the leaves with a damp cloth. It's important to dry the leaves afterwards and to remove any excess water, as this can lead to leaf damage, mold and sunburn. By cleaning your houseplant leaves from time to time, you can help them look their best and promote healthy growth. Exactly what we want, right? Tip 2. Repotting time. As your plants grow, they may outgrow their pots. If you notice your plant's roots crowding the pot of coming out of the drain holes, it's time to move them into a bigger pot. Always use a pot that is one size larger than a current one, but also not too large. Then it's time to choose the perfect potting mix. Depending on the plant, you can choose our Aerodes potting mix, Succulents potting mix, Epiphytes potting mix, or just our repotting mix. Now it's time to repot. Take your plant out of the pot and make sure you watch the roots of the plant. You don't want them to get damaged in the process. Place your plant in some fresh soil, give her a sip of water and she's ready to enjoy spring and summer. Tip 3. Fertilize your plants. Fertilizing your houseplants provides them with the essential nutrients they need to grow and thrive. A plant's soil contains these nutrients, but over time they are all used up. Time to give your plant new and fresh nutrients. Especially during the growing season, houseplants need extra nutrients to support new growth. Yellow leaves or growth disorders can also be the cause of lack of nutrition. Time to feed your plants babies. It's super easy. Fertilize your plants every four to six weeks with a liquid fertilizer, like our Plants Nutrition. Simply add one cap of Plants Nutrition in one liter water and give your plants their regular sip. Tip 4. Adjust the light. As the days get longer and the sun gets stronger in spring, it's important to adjust the light condition for your houseplants to ensure they continue to thrive. After a long winter spent in low light conditions, your plants may need a brighter location to get the light they need for growth. Move your plants to a sunny window or use grow lights to provide additional light. Of course, the other way around is also possible. Your plant has been standing in front of a window all this time and now the sun is starting to shine. Then be careful with bright direct light on your plant. Most plants do not tolerate this well. The result, your plant's leaves may get yellow or brown burn marks. Tip 5. Time to prune. Pruning your houseplant can help to keep them healthy and promote new growth. It will also help your plants look their best and maintain their shape. And that is just all we really want, isn't it? The best time to prune your houseplant is during their active growing period, so when spring arrives, it's the perfect time to cut those yellow or dead leaves and branches. Make sure to use a sharp pruning shears to make the cut. Meet Oscar. Using tools that are rusty or dirty can increase the risk of the plant getting infected by diseases. Start by removing any yellow or brown leaves and be careful not to damage the stem. If your plant has become leggy or spindly due to lower light conditions in fall and winter, you can cut back the top of the plant. This will also promote more bossy growth. Make the cut just above the node or leaf joints so your plant can grow further from that point. Be careful not to remove too much at once and give your plants some time to recover. Tip 6. Take your plants outside. In tip 4, I explain a bit about adjusting the light for your plants. But did you know that your plants also can be moved outside? 
Moving your houseplants outside in the summer can be a great way to give them a change of scenery and some extra light and warmth. However, there are a few things to keep in mind when you want to place your green plants on your patio. Make sure that you gradually acclimate your plants to the outdoor environment. Start by placing them in a shaded location for a few hours a day and slowly increase the amount of sun time they get. Also pick a location that is protected from strong winds and make sure that your plants get enough water as the outdoors can make them thirstier. Lastly, I want to point out that it's extremely important to protect your plants from extreme weather. Plants can protect themselves with sunscreen, like I do. So when the sun is too bright, move your plants to a shady spot. We don't want those pretty leaves to get sunburned, right? Tip 7. Pest control. My final tip is also super important, especially when you take your plants outside. I advise to check your plants regularly. In spring and summer, we open our windows for some well-deserved fresh air. But with that, you can also invite some unwanted visitors. Check your plants for any signs of pests, such as aphids, spider mites, or mealybugs. If you find them, treat them immediately to prevent a larger infestation. If you want to know exactly how to treat plagues, make sure to check out our Plants Doctor video about pest control. By following these seven easy tips, you can help your houseplants transition smoothly into the new season and enjoy a healthy and thriving spring. Whether you are new to houseplants or a seasoned pro, taking the time to prepare your plants for spring will pay off in the form of lush, vibrant grow and beautiful flowers. So go ahead, give your plants a little extra love and enjoy their beauty all season long. That was it for today's video. If you have any questions about preparing your plants for spring, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.